Hello everybody and welcome back to another mod add-on or bedrock edition add-on. But today I'm going to be talking about the the um, rings. This is the bobble add-on by Motionless. It's part of part of the mod pack that I'm using from him in my flat world because we're back on the flat world here and I thought this would be a good since I'm using several of his additional mods in addition to advanced machinery, so I thought I'd just come back to the flat world. We'll talk about it. So there's all these different kinds of rings that you can get. And these rings are basically potion rings. They give you potion effects. So if you look on what I am have right now, I've got uh, regeneration going, regeneration two going. And the way that you make these... Uh, is you you make an empty ring so you make an empty ring like this and it's the the recipe is fairly simple it's just gold and diamond and again if you've got your resources automatically generated like I do then it's not a big deal so so what you do is first step is you make yourself an empty ring and then you have to make your potions. So in order for this to really be effective, you need to have your potions set up, which I do. I've got my potions set up going already here. Got a little bit of base powder in there. So let's let's uh, get some bottles going in there. Now what I'm going to do is make a a potion of night vision because I don't have one here so you I've got a speed ring which is speed two I've got slow falling ring and I've got a fire resistance ring you can only have one of these rings in effect at one time you can't have you know multiples in there oh I need to make the, uh, golden carrot there we go you can't have multiples of these rings going at the same time and with your potion, it needs to be a maxed out, maxed out potion as well. So let's throw that in there, that in there, and that in there. That should do it. Yep, there we go. And you can see I've got the extra potions from the stuff that I've been doing. But what you do is you just right click on the ring. And now I've got speed. As you can see, I've got, let's see. I've got speed two going now and my regeneration ring pops back into my inventory. So you don't lose any of it. It's just, you can only have one effect going at, at one time, which I think is a good deal because otherwise it could be really OP on this whole situation here. But these are really nice. It's like having a uh, beacon kind of going, but you can take these with you. So for example, building the slow falling is really nice for building and going into the inn when you're fighting the dragon because the dragon's going to knock you off those towers and you just slow fall down to the ground it's no big deal it kind of takes the danger out of those towers uh fire resist ring goes into the net when you go into the nether take the fire resist with you and you can you know take a bath in the lava no big deal i use the speed ring when i go out to my uh my xp farm out there so it's just nice because it's because it's a bit of bit of a uh, jaunt out there. So yeah, use a speed ring for that. So potion of night vision, eight minutes. So again, you want the maxed out version of your potion. Of course, I've got a whole. I may always make three. Why not? Because it's it's efficient. Now to make the ring, it's real simple. You just you just you know you just take the the empty ring and your potion whatever it is and boom there you go and if we do that oh now we got night vision going let's take a quick trip into the nether here just just gonna take a look see i'm not gonna do anything yet. But there you are night vision kind of wonky yeah, but that's the way the night vision works, so I still haven't taken that down. 
Yeah, so you got a potion of night vision. Now in the nether, I always like to use the uh, fire resist string. So night potion off, but now I've got fire resist. So if I fall into the lava, it's no biggie. I'm, I'm safe. And you can see the effect there, fire resistance. And this is real, I'll tell you where this portal is in the nether here, it's really sketchy because this is like just a shelf, look at that. It's actually like one one thick over here. Oh, that scared me. It's like one thick over here. So yeah, it's really sketchy. But these, these uh, potion rings are super, super useful. Relatively straightforward. I mean, it's no, not a big thing to, uh, to make them once you get your once you get your uh, potions set up going yeah night vision is a little wonky but I think that's kind of normal in fact let me let me let's see let's go back to regeneration let's look at a potion of night vision. I don't know if it's the ring doing that or if it's the actual potion Yeah, so the ring's a little wonky. Yeah, the ring's a little bit wonky. Because the potion doesn't do that little flickering. So, But still, it's it's a nice... If you need night vision or regeneration or whatever, if you need any of that stuff, you know, making these rings is super, super useful. Let me... Uh, let's see, what do I... Yeah, I've got my regeneration. I always use regeneration around the base here. So there you have it. The bobbles ring, the bobbles add on adds these potion rings to you. And there's a ring for basically all the different potions. All the, again, you have to max out the potion, but that's not a big deal. Once you get your resources going, extremely useful, extremely handy. Especially the the basic ones, you know, I don't, I didn't make a night vision because, I mean, honestly, I don't really need the night vision anywhere. There's no water for me to swim in, which would be like, like if, if it was a, if you had an ocean, the night vision would be really good to have. Uh, but I do, the sl slow falling, I think is a must have, especially if you're doing building or going to the end, especially the end. It's super, super useful. The fire resistance, of course, if you go to the nether, that's a must-have. Speed is good because, you know, if you're doing any traveling at all, having speed is is very helpful. And the speed, of course, will work on an, on your animal as well, if you got a horse, for example. Yeah. So, now, where did I get the carrot? Because this is a flat world. I actually got the carrot right here. Yeah, see, it was right there. And it's one coin very cheap so we're going to talk about these these are the uh, salvage tables it's another add-on that emotionless has and that i've added as part of this mod pack here so we'll talk about that next time us when we talk about the add-ons but uh this is the bobbles add-on by emotionless it's on his web uh, vantage website I'll, there's a link in the description below i really recommend that if you want these permanent potion effects then definitely definitely look into getting that add-on it's very very useful especially the the basic ones that you always end up having to use such as fire resistance for example i mean going to the nether fire resistance is a must-have if you once you get your po of course you could have to go to the nether first to be able to do your potions to get the blaze rod and all that but once you get it going once you get fire resist potions going, yeah, it's really nice. And you do not lose the effect if you die. In other words, the ring that you have going at the time, which in my case would be regeneration. If I were to die, I don't lose that ring, but I would lose these rings if they were in my inventory. So I always just keep one, one active at the time, but you won't lose that ring if you won't lose that effect or order the ring if you die. Uh, it's just if you're carrying extra rings with you, you know, if, if if for some reason, say I went into the nether and wanted to wanted to take 
fire resist, and my regeneration with me. Uh, you could potentially lose the one that you're not not using, but the one that you're actually using, the one that's active in on your character, you will not lose. It 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 stays, which is nice. I think that's a that's a nice thing to have. So yeah, there you go. Bobbles add-on. Link in the description. Check it out. Add it to your world. If you're if you're using the advanced machinery uh, mod pack, definitely add that to it because it's it works really well with it. I think it's a it's a good add-on to have in addition to the advanced machinery, especially if you're going to do, you know, like I'm doing here, do some sort of skyblock type of thing. Yeah, it's really nice to have. So there you have it. And uh, next time we d next time I'm going to do these right here, this this the uh, salvage tables. I forget what the add on is. I think it's salvage add on. I think that's the name of it. But that's going to be the one next time. Super, super handy. Really nice, especially on a flat world. It works very similar to, say, Project E over on Job Edition. Yeah, kind of similar idea. So we'll talk about that next time. So I appreciate it. I hope this was helpful to you and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye now.